Oh, I know I already touched on this in one of my other uh, videos uh, when I said my daughters can't have it all. I want my daughters to have it all. It just sucks that they can't. My daughter's gonna grow up. I want her to be able to have as many degrees as she would like or doesn't want. I want her to have the career she wants or doesn't want. I want her to have the family she wants or doesn't want. But she can't. Like physically she can't and here's why. Because they cannot have it all. But when should a woman get married? I think women should definitely get married sooner rather than later. Here's why. A couple scenarios with my daughter. My daughter's not old by any stretch. She's 12. She's a preteen. She's going to have to decide on the life that she wants to live. I personally think regardless of a man's age, he should shoot for a woman that's 25 years old. It's not because of anything shallow like, oh, look at that body. Oh, look at this. Oh, she's so fine. Oh, she's so young. Oh, so supple. Nothing like that. It's because the amount of time it's going to take you to get to know a woman and her prime and her prime childbearing years are of a certain age. So 25 is a good mark, not much older. Because if you are following my rules from that I let you guys know in my other video about men not getting married when they're 35, you can check that video out right here. Men do not get married until you're 35. Women get married young. You've got to get to know this man. You've got to get to know to see if he's going to want to marry you. You got to see if you want to marry him. And ladies, this may be a controversial statement to make, but I don't think women mature on the same curve that a man does. I believe a man is ripe, a ripe fruit, ripe enough to be picked around the age 35, give or take a few years, 35 for men. But women, I do not believe you change that much. I was having a conversation with my wife, and the way that phrase and statement comes out, I don't really intend for it to come out that way. Let me clear it up. I do think women do mature, and I do think women do change over the course of their lives. All I'm trying to say is, I think the change that occurs in men is a little bit more linear, and it takes a much longer period of time. From the time we begin maturing, like a woman did already, and like we, when we conclude our maturity cycle, I believe that women mature far earlier, and then they probably stop sooner. Probably the same curve, but I feel like men just takes us a lot longer to get to where you are at a much younger age. I hope that cleaned it up. But my 12-year-old daughter, even when she was 10, she would see a baby and she, oh my God, the baby, oh my God, oh my God, oh my I've seen women that are 50 years old, 60, 70. Oh my God, stop it, the baby, oh my God. I know that's one example, but it's a big example. Women do mature, and I'm not saying that women don't mature over the course of their lives, but it doesn't seem like it's a curve like men. Perfect example. Let's take uh, a young person. Let's take Takashi69. I know these people are very different people that I'm about to name, but let's take Takashi69. And then let's look at Sean Connery. Takashi69 is what I would call your prototypical young man. Soldier boy. Prototypical young man. I'm just doing this. I'm doing me. Get out my face. We're more aggressive. Then Sean Connery, you see the man who wants to sit back in his chair, possibly enjoy a nice scotch, a little bit of time with his woman, maybe a nap or two, maybe a vacation somewhere. If he gets really rowdy, he may shoot a game of billiards. That's a very different curve, and I know he's an older man, but that's how we mature. We just get calmer and calmer and more measured and more measured and more level and more level and more distinguished. Which is why a lot of the time women say, I prefer an older man. Because we're bat crazy when we're young. Women, you're different. You're different. You're so different. Once you, boom, you hit your period, you are now different. You can now bear children just like any other woman until the day comes that you can't. Menopause. So that's why I say men shouldn't get married until 35. 
and women marry soon because you're not really gonna change all that much. Not that much. Your values are gonna be your values. If you're a woman with a big heart, you're probably gonna always be a woman with a big heart. But women typically don't, they don't fight each other. They don't go to jail. They don't find themselves in and out of jail. They don't find themselves, you know, I'm reformed now, or I'm, I'm over this, this thing. I used to do this horrible thing, now I don't anymore. Usually women don't do that like men do. A man, a man, I used to be out in the streets, gang banging, would sell drugs, I would, I would, I would, that's a very high risk life. Women usually don't trend towards such a high risk life. So they don't need to trade in that high risk life for a lower risk life. Women usually don't have to do that. And that's what I mean by men and women are different. Now, women will mature, not like a man will. So ladies, if you're looking for that guy to settle down with, trying to find a guy that's 25 like you, the only thing he should be doing right now is figuring out how to make more money, how to make a better version of himself, how to calm down, where he's gonna live, his earning potential, all of those things. So why would you want to latch on to a guy that's in his mid-twenties for a long-term relationship? I'm not asking you to be a gold digger or just look out for number one, even though we all should look out for number one. What I'm ta asking you and what I'm telling you to do is consider the differences between a guy that's 25 and where he is in life, figuring it out two, three years out of college or something like you, where you don't have anything figured out. Think about him versus the 35-year-old. He's 35, he knows what he wants out of life. He's had a few rough encounters with women, so he knows exactly what he wants out of you. So you don't have to guess with this guy. This guy is that guy. He's established, he knows what he wants to do, he knows where, where he wants to go, he's attracted to you, and he's considering starting a family. And you have a shot clock. Women have a shot clock. If you don't know the basketball reference, in the NBA, you have 24 seconds to shoot the basketball. You don't want in vitro fertilization. You don't want to talk to a surrogate. You've been working for, you know, seven years or something. Got an internship when you were 20 out of college, and now you're about 27, and but you've been working for like four years, and you're like, you know, I want to, I want to be a mom now, and I can carry kids, and I can, you know, whatever. I want it. This is what I want to do, and I met him.